Try the brake. Try the brake. Okay. Give her a shot, kiddo. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm back out here in the garage and today working on something a little bit different. And I'm going to have my kids out here in a little while and they're going to help me out. But uh, I t contemplated not making a video out of this, but then I thought, ah, let's make a video. It'll be fun. The kids will enjoy it too. So, all right, here's what we're building today. Some of you guys asked what that thing was. It was sitting on my car in one of my old videos. And this is it. This is what this thing is. It's a Model T or a T bucket, I should say. Um, wagon. This thing used to have the linkage. I put, you know, I built it years back when my kids were real small and I had linkage on the front here connected to a handle and I would tow them all over the neighborhood uh, riding around in their wagon. They used it for Halloween costumes, all kinds of cool stuff. We had a real good time with that thing. But they've grown up a little bit and uh, I don't want to tow them around anymore so time to make it into a go-kart. All right, let me give you the background, the story on this. First off, so we have the wagon. I already kind of started deconstructing it. And I thought, yeah, I better put it together to, for the video. Um, give you a little bit of background. We bought, no, we got for free a little tiny little four-wheeler, a little, uh, you know, 50cc four-wheeler. Somebody was giving it away, and I grabbed it thinking, that's perfect, we'll use all the parts, make that into our go-kart. Well, I drug it home. Got to looking at it and it didn't take very much to just really put it together and use it as a four-wheeler. So my son's been riding that and uh, we're back to the drawing board. So then we picked up an old go-kart. It was uh, the frame, no engine or anything, but it you know, looked like the steering and everything was there. And I was gonna steal the axle and a bunch of stuff off of it. Well, we got to taking it apart and the, let's see, brakes were missing. The sprocket was completely worn out. The chain was uh, rusted solid and the axle was bent so that's that's junk so we decided we're going to start over so we ordered a few parts off ebay i kind of got some parts going over there but i got a kit with an axle a seat some rear tires that bolt up to it and everything and the idea here is we're going to turn this thing into a full-on motorized go-kart step one is going to be to put this thing together where the kids can hop in it like okay so like any hot rod you want to you want to get a car running you got to make the thing start you got to make it steer and you got to make it stop i got the same idea with this we're just not gonna be able to make it start we're not going to put a motor on it quite yet but we're going to get everything else together and make it where a guy can steer and stop and then go out here on the road and push it down the hill and have a good time for a while until we go pick up the motor somewhere we'll get an engine somewhere for it but here's what we're looking at okay the body itself this is uh just aluminum uh, some of that sheet, real thin sheets of aluminum, wrapped around a skeleton made out of conduit. Uh, so I just got that conduit, used my bender, and I just bent it all out. Two of them just straight. This one had a little compact, complex bend to get the kick up for the back of the bucket. Uh, and then I, you know, welded up that frame and then just pop riveted this uh, sheet on, sheeting on there. So that comes off, and we have this rocking frame, uh, which is kind of rat rodish with the uh, hairpins in the front. I had hairpins set up in the back here, kind of mocked up, but then uh, we cut, cut that off so we could measure what we needed for an axle. So this is what we're working with here, guys. The idea is going to be, I'm going to have to extend the back kick a little bit out to make room for the engine plate. I'm going to have to reinforce the frame a bunch. And then we want to mount that axle under there, which is simple. It's solid axle, solid mount, just mounts on some pillow blocks there. And we've got to redo our linkage for the front uh, because the linkage before was set up to work on a wagon tongue, not on a steering wheel. And I stole one of the pieces to redo the clutch linkage on my Jeep. So we got to do a little mixing and match and figure out the steering. And then I'm going to put a roll bar in it. I'm going to use that other go-kart the junk one, it had a lot of good metal to it. It was pretty big and beefy. So we're gonna use a bunch of the tubing and we're gonna put a roll bar. Probably not a full cage, but I want a bar that'll come up and over, some kickers that come out pretty far towards the front for some you know, strength. 
and then some kickers that'll come down to the back and that should kind of triangulate the whole frame stiffen it up because that's i mean i, I get it, that's a pretty flimsy frame i might have to do some fish plates on the corners there or something you know some some hot rod uh tricks to make sure this is stiff enough or at least throw some gussets in there or something make sure it's stiff enough for a you know 70 pound kid running around in it somewhere in there okay and the other trick is i want this body to be able to plop on and off right so i'm going to put my roll bar in and everything and then i have to modify that just slightly so that that body kind of like uh you know picture like a funny car or something you know it just, boom drops down over the cage and then we're rocking and rolling so that's the plan i'm gonna get my kids out here we're gonna do some grinding and some cutting and some good stuff like that clean up this metal uh, a little bit of math, figuring out some geometry on the uh, front steering. And uh, that's it. Hopefully this starts, uh, you know, a lifetime of messing with hot rods and, you know, tinkering with stuff. And really, man, I mean, I have a passion for it, but what I really want my kids to get out of this is how to be critical thinkers, right? Problem solvers. Look at something that doesn't have instructions or a solution and readily apparent and then be able to think about it and figure it out. Uh, that'll do them so well in life and that's that's why i do this with them so all right we'll get them out here and we'll uh get to cranking on this <laughs> kids ready to help out yeah okay let's talk about what we got to get done today so i think today you saw last time annie was working on grinding down some of these welds and cleaning up the rear end but i think we need to relook at that uh, we're gonna have to extend this piece out here. Okay guys, we're gonna have to extend this out to make room for our motor plate. So I think we should do that. Put in a cross member, like replace these conduit cross members. I got some more square tube. We'll put some square tube in there and go ahead and once that's all done, weld that all up good. And then we'll go through our box of parts over there. We need to assemble our rear axle and everything. And let's go ahead and set the ride height. Okay, have to flip it over, set the ride height and then come back and weld up all of our mounts for our rear axle and uh, measure our motor plate and chop this up a little bit and start doing some welding so let's get out the chop saw welding helmets and all that good stuff all right Okay, so the kids helped me out here, All right guys? We built this rear section, which is gonna replace this top part of the rear frame here. And this thing will bolt directly to our pillow blocks there on our bearings. So what we've got now is we've got our ride height figured out. We've got about three and a quarter inches clearance uh, in the front and about three and a half in the back. So it'll have a little bit of a hot rod rake to it. Now what we've gotta do is just measure the distance from the ground to the top of our pillow blocks down here where our bearings are and then we got to measure the same thing up on our frame right here we'll chop it we'll weld this guy in place 
and we'll have a new rear kind of subframe section there. We'll get that all gusseted it in, weld that in nice, and then our motor plate will sit in there. Yeah, all right, kiddo, tell us what we did here. Okay, so we welded this square onto here. Yep. And yeah. yeah, and that's it, huh? We built our rear subframe kind of, right? Yeah. And then we used the uh, wheelless Dethicus to cut off the old chunk and then we tacked it in place and measured it to make sure everything's nice and square and now we got to come in and finish weld it huh we'll finish weld that thing in nice and even so we don't weld it and tweak it all up uh, we're gonna have to throw some supports in there it's 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 intentional why that doesn't line up there and there while our rear sub is narrower it's so that we can bolt straight to our bearings here um, but we'll fix that when we put in some gussets okay so that's pretty good. Let's do some finish welding. What do you say? Sounds good. Okay. Time to go in and take it easy. Here's what we're looking at where we got what we got done so far. I got all the rear um, triangulated and set up or uh, gussets all in and everything. Got it all welded up. It's ready to go. We're ready to drill holes for the bearings and mount that axle underneath there. So the frame is good to go now. Like I said though, I'm wrapping it up for tonight. I uh, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. We'll be back on this thing a little bit. Alrighty. We're busy on the old uh, go-kart again. Uh, back on it, the T-Bucket go-kart. So our next move, what we need to do now is uh, prepare the frame for our roll cage. Or roll bar at least. So we have some old bars. Uh, over there from the old go-kart that we're going to trim down to fit and they're going to fit just inside the uh, body like this and the idea is they'll come up inside the body we'll have a hoop and then we'll have some runners that come down tie in the front and uh, the idea is the body will be able to just lift off and set down so it's going to be like a rail you know we're going to build the frame look like a rail and then the body will sit down on top of it and we can bolt it into place and we got a good surprise over Christmas time. Did a little, got a little gift from Grandpa who had that sitting aside. A little two horse Briggs and Stratton, which would be the perfect starter motor for this thing before we upgrade to about the six horse or so. So, Annie and I are gonna get busy here. All right, so our, our roll bar that we're gonna use, the main hoop is too wide, right? And we need it to fit in here. So, what do you think we need to figure out here? We need to figure out where to section out of. So we need to figure out how wide it needs to be, right? So we need to measure inside the T-bucket here, how wide it needs to be, figure out how wide that is and the difference. We can just cut it and section it right out of the middle, right? We can just cut it in two places, like we can cut it here, and then we measure over how far we need it sectioned out, and we'll cut there too, yep. right? And then we'll just weld it all together. Sound good? All right, so we're getting our roll bar tacked into place here, and we're test fitting our seat to make sure that it'll fit in there. I think that'll be just fine with our, before we go to final welding everything. What do you think, kiddo? Looks good. I think it'll be good. That's pretty good right there. So now we just need to make a little adjustment so it's not resting against the body. Tack it in, and then we'll come back, take the body off, and we'll finish weld every all that whole bar. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, we're wrapping this up for today. We got a couple hours in. Here's where we ended up. We finally got our, our roll bar hoop done. And uh, what happened is that thing was bent. The other go-kart was bent uh, that it came off of. And so when I chopped it down and put it in, it was, it was still bent. So you can see what we had to do, a little bit of, little bit of cutting, a little bit of welding, making it happen. But we got that in, we got our sidebars in. Annie got in, test fit, everything works good. And uh, yeah, that's that for today. Now we gotta put our steering together and get that mocked up in the front. And then we'll be ready to bolt up our axle and, and we'll go from there. Hey guys, back out here doing more work on the old T-Bucket go-kart. And today we're learning about Ackerman and some steering and geometry, huh? That's pretty good, Annie's doing a good job. 
We figured out one big thing though, and that's that the, the length of this go-kart just isn't long enough. Uh, where if we put it, you know, when we put our pedals where we want them, if our steering, um, you know, if we put our spindles on the other side so it's rear, it's on the reverse here, then they get into the way of our pedals. So we're gonna have to go to the front, which isn't ideal for a go-kart. Annie's uh, actually putting together our tie rod, um, our drag link here that's basically gonna just attach both of the spindles together. And uh, we're gonna use this other piece. We're gonna come in here and actually make it like a tie rod, like on a full-size car, where it's just gonna attach to one side. The reason is, one, she gets to learn a little bit of that geometry, how that works, and two, um, we had two of these, but I used one, made it into linkage for the clutch on my Jeep. So we only have one. Okay, we're calling it for today. It's dinner time. We didn't get as far as we wanted, but here's our tab for our steering shaft. I uh, built this little tab here that'll go on the end, and that'll hook up our little tie rod to there. And then we can cut it down to length, weld it in, steering will be done. Alrighty guys, we're just wrapping up another day out here in the garage. Had all three of my kids out here and they were all helping and we were going crazy and honestly I forgot to film. So let me give you an update on where we are with the old go-kart today. I finished up my front steering with a bunch of help from the kids. We had to build this little bracket and the steering shaft. Uh, once we got it together, this is a solid piece that slips inside the shaft. It was just had a little slack in it where it bolted, so I put a tack on there and a tack on the nut so it wouldn't come apart. Uh, again, use the old kind of tie rod drag link method here um, because we didn't have enough rod ends to do it anyway. This is what we ended up with. And it works pretty good. You can see there we got full, full steering. Seems to work pretty good. I had my kids in there testing it out. It seems to roll back and forth in the garage anyway like it should. Uh, here's how I mounted my steering up at the top. I built a framework that goes around so this whole body can just come off and it just goes through a sleeve right there with a, a little tab welded on there to keep it from moving back and forth. So my steering's all mounted and I got to build a bumper uh, for the front still. This steering, we had to do this to get it out of the way of the feet because uh, it was kind of going to be too short and if my steering went behind the axle it would get in the way of the pedals and it'd be too short for feet and everything. So. It goes in the front, but in order to present a mishap, in, uh, inevitably they're gonna run into something and to bend this, you know, we don't wanna bend this tie rod up. So I'm gonna build a bumper that comes off of here, all the way out and back in, and maybe have a little bit of like a Baja style on the front here, so that if they impact something, that's what hits first. But Annie said she's gonna give you guys an update. It, Annie, how are we doing? Where are we out on the go-kart? What are we going to do today? We're going to fix the, this thing. The throttle? Yeah, and then what? Are we just going to check it? Yeah. See if it runs. What are the three things you need for any internal combustion engine to run? Air, spark, and fuel. Air, spark, and fuel. You got it. So we're going to do the old troubleshoot on this old engine my dad gave us. Mess with it a little bit and see if we can get this little uh, bad boy to fire up. So we checked the air air cleaner out. We cleaned it all out, right? You blew that out with air. Gave it about a half to three quarters of a tank worth of gas, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't you give this a pull? Let's see if it makes any spark. Oh, it lit, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Try it one more time. Okay, so it's making spark. So I say we go ahead and Take our little sparkulator checker out and then uh, connect our spark plug wire and then why don't we give this thing a rip and see if we can make it run. That's motivating, man. Anytime you can fire up your hot rods engine and see it run a little bit, that's awesome. All right. Well, now we know that this guy runs. Let's finish up our brakes and figure out how to mount that engine. Mm -hmm. All right.
so update for today on the old go-kart. Uh, Annie and I were able to get our brake uh, master cylinder kind of put together and ready to go. And now Luke's helping me today as we run our brake rod from the brake pedal back and through the body there. It'll go along the frame and then through the body and poke out the back. And we're doing that so we can figure out where to mount that thing. Once we get it all lined up, we'll weld it into place and then it'll have brakes. Alright guys, we're back. We got our brakes set up. Let me show you how we got this contraption put together. So, pretty standard up here in the front, right? And we got this rod that runs along the frame of the car there. Okay, so the, the rod goes along the frame there, out the back, and it comes back here to our, well, I guess our master cylinder. Which, uh, I, it took us a while to figure out how to make this work where it stayed aligned. Because that bar would anyway so we have this lever action here okay so Annie go ahead and hit the brake pedal okay you can see how it works it there let off huh hit it all right okay so it works now I need to put it on the ground put a guinea pig in there and see if they can roll around and make it stop let's give it a shot okay we got our stunt pilot in the seat she's ready are you ready to give it a test? I'm going to give you a shove and then I want you to stop before you hit the garage door, okay? One, two, three. Well, you, that worked pretty good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, what do you think? Let's go eat dinner. Good job, guys. Okay, friends, go kart update. I think when we left you off last time, we were trying to figure out our brakes and how to get them rigged in there. But we got them. We just built a little bracket off of this cross member here for our caliper. Uh, over here, we built another bracket to mount the uh, master cylinder, if you will. And it's mechanically hooked up to this linkage that runs all the way up here to the front to the pedal. So you can see here, works like a champ. Brakes work great. Uh, I just have to come in now and... I'm going to put a return spring on the pedal just to pull it back in there so it doesn't stick if they jam on it. And we'll do the same thing on the gas pedal. We mounted our seat, which is pretty easy. Just a matter of mounting a piece of square tube here at an angle and then a couple of spacers up here with some bolts through it. But it's in there pretty solid. But the next things we need to do is I need to rob off of our donor go-kart bent-up frame the front bumper's good. So I'm going to rob that off and weld on a front bumper so that if somebody impacts anything, the first thing they don't hit is that tie rod front tires. And then just sand this sucker down and hit it with some black paint. And then, uh, then we're ready to mount our engine. It's all set up over there. Ready to go on here. Uh, it's all lined up and everything. Uh, I had to do a little bit of work on it so I could get my clutch to stay on, but no big deal, we got it. But yeah, that's where we sit, man. Now it's just a matter of getting kids back out here and motivated so they can well, so they can go drive the thing. All right, we're gonna do a little more working on this thing and I'll bring you guys back with an update after a bit. All righty, here's where we are now with the old go-kart. I went ahead and, kids helped out a little bit, but I went ahead and welded in a few last pieces and uh, stripped it down to get ready for paint. So we'll get there. We just ain't got there yet. All right. We'll bring you back next time, hopefully with a little uh, sanding painting going on. on this side. All right, looking good. Remember, if you get too close or if you spray in one spot, you'll get a run.
All right guys, back on it here. The kids painted the go-kart. The frame has been, I think all our fabrication's done and they painted it. So today, we're gonna start assembling. The girls are taking on the project of replacing the sprocket with the right sprocket that matches up to our uh, clutch and engine and everything. And then they're gonna assemble the rear axle and install it. And then Luke and I are gonna tackle the front axle, putting in our spindles and steering and everything like that. You ready to tackle it, buddy? Let's do it. All right, how's it coming here, kiddos? Got the seat mounted. Front spindle set up, steering set up. Got the rear axle installed. Now we gotta get our engine and chain and everything and then we can set the body on. Put our brake in there and then hook up our throttle cable. Should be about it, huh? Yep. We got a few more pieces to put in, but let's let's keep at it. We're doing good. All right, we're back out of here. Do they look excited? Yes. Okay, we've been at it for a couple hours here and here's what we got. We got everything hooked up. Our brakes, our gas pedal hooked up, throttle to the engine. Um, steering, everything. The kids even put in the seat belt. We got our chain hooked up. What do you guys think? What's next? Well, testing. Smoke test it. I say we try to fire this bad boy up. Get a little bit more gas. What do you guys? All right, there it is. There you go, you guys got to see it, it runs. We gotta do a little fine tuning on our throttle, but uh, it works. What do you guys think? It's, it's pretty good. good. Yeah, they're excited. It's dark and it's snowing outside, so tomorrow we'll go out and give it a shot. We'll give it a rip, but you're gonna have to come back next time to see that. You guys, uh, thanks for following along on this long project. My kids and I sure had a good time doing it. What do we need to tell them? Uh, subscribe, like, comment down below, and <laughs> let's build the community. Okay, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> what do you think, dinner time? Should we go on in? Yep. Yeah. All right. Tomorrow, we ride. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give her some gas. Yeah. What do you think, buddy? Pretty good. It moves. Yeah, there you go. Straighten her out. There you go. Keep her floored. Hold it to the floor. Oh, I don't think it's going to go in the snow. I gotta be able to figure out how to make this thing make a little more power.